After a wonderful discovery at Saqqara, Egypt, these last days, it comes back to us the name buried under the sands of Egypt and time, the name of a queen totally forgotten by the living, a queen never mentioned in any of the ancient texts found until today. We found her name engraved under the protection of Nachbet. It is always moving to revive a being of the past, especially when we know the importance that granted the ancient Egyptian to the pronunciation of the name here on earth of this past in the beyond. Who is Queen Set-Ib-Har? What life did she have? A lot of questions. For now, we do not know everything yet, but we already know that it was important because thanks to the place of her name found, we know that she had a pyramid and a small pyramid satellite satellite too, like a pharaoh. And her pyramid is one of the most ancient in South Saqqara. And she had also a temple with its offering hall, its storage rooms, and tea chambers, a chapel, and a colonnade courtyard, palmy from columns reserved uh, mainly for for male pharaohs. In fact, the pyramidal complex is the largest built for a queen during the old kingdom. The whole complex at the northeast of the wall of the complex of the pyramid of her husband. It is believed that her husband was Pharaoh Jetkara Isesi. For a very long time, we did not know who owned this pyramid and its dependencies inside the complex of Pharaoh Jetkara until today. How did we find it? But first, a few words about her husband, Pharaoh Chetkara, Nedub, the father of the Pharaoh Unas, had a long reign at least 40 years at the end of the 5th dynasty. He was a great reformer of the public Egyptian administration by reorganizing the funerary cults and corresponding priesthood. He launches expedition in Sinai for copper and turquoise, in Nubia for gold and in the famous country of Punt for incense and has trade relations with Lebanon. He seems to have been a pharaoh of great esteem, for many years later the offerings for his worship, worship were numerous. How did we find the name of Queen Setibhar? It is thanks to a prince, Prince Hoi, whose tomb has just been found in Saqqara. We do not know if they had any connection during their lifetime, but in any case we found the tomb of this noble and in leaving it we found on a column marking the beginning of the pyramidal complex, the name of this queen, Setibhar. The Hui tomb consists of a superstructure with an L-shaped offering chamber, which was once decorated with reliefs. Only the low, lower part of this decoration is preserved because the white limestone blocks of the other parts have been reused in the construction of other buildings in the past. The Egyptian archaeological mission found at the north wall of the tomb the entrance to a unique substructure which is for the first time clearly inspired by the design of the underground structures of the royal pyramids of the 5th dynasty. This part of the tomb begins with a descending corridor leading to a vestibule. An entrance in its south wall gives access to a decorated empty chamber. Its decoration represents the owner of the tomb sitting in front of the offering table on the south and north walls and the list of offering has been represented on the east wall. The space of the burial chamber was almost completely filled with limestone sarcophagus which was found entirely destroyed by the ancient tomb robbers. However, the mission discovered the mummified human remains of the noble Hui.
It was to the exit that Mishan found the name of Queen Setibha. The Queen's complex is located near the King Shatkara pyramid in southern Saqqara, and the identity of its owner has been unknown for decades. The name and title of the owner of this unique complex that was partly found in the 50s was found a few days ago on a column of red granite in the newly discovered portico of the Queen's complex. The inscription was carved in a hollow relief on the column tree and it reads, The wife of the king, his beloved, set him up. The discovery of this tomb underlined the importance of the era of Chetkara and the end of the 5th dynasty in general, said the Egyptian mission. For me, the important thing is also to have brought out Limbo, this queen, so important, and who may have also ruled alone over Egypt, as some experts have already suggested. Thank you, it was Jigal from Egypt.